go to the link and then at you. Okay. Well, them gals have a beauty salon tucked into this hairdo. I, for one, feel frisky and fat. Okay, up in the hood. That's how it make me feel. But I really look like some sort of tropical drink. Or to be precise. Something in the top of the top tropical drink. I make it look all appeasing and appealing. But you know, I guess if I did have to pick a drink that, is, that I would turn into or be born as, I would pick the winner would by far <laughs> be a filthy, dirty martini. Just a filthy one. Mirth of stuff floating in it. You get it at your table. I mean, it immediately smacks you in the face and then puts its finger up your ass to check your oil and then you gotta go to the clinic. That is how filthy a martini I would be. And a vodka one too, cause vodka go with everything up in the hood. Okay? Which brings me to my subject that I just thought of, by the way, because I had to have one. Why is a liquor store closed on Sunday? I mean, uh, we're still doing that shit where things are closed on Sunday, like liquor stores. Why? Oh, God. I mean, do these people really think that alcoholics take a day off? I mean, the alcoholics, they don't plan ahead a lot. You're basically fucking the alcohol. I mean, somebody has a problem, you say, hey, here's another one. Have another problem on us. I mean, that is just exactly what I would expect y'all to do. I mean, because you did it with everybody else in history, and even today. I mean, actually, quite literally today, because my friend, Eloisha, she, she got sex addiction. She's an addict to the sex she, what happened? She, you know, she still go to church, you know. And her, at the church today, they had a program where there were strippers there. Yeah, I can't imagine what the program would be, but she said it's something about Easter, like the other two that was on the cross, uh, carrying the cross, like, yeah, grinding on it. I mean, I can't think of anything more sacrageous than that. What the hell? Leave it up to the AME Zion Church over there in Magnolia, oh Magnolia, to be a glow clash attacking. And call me old fucking fashion. Just go ahead. Because, I'm sorry, but that shit is tacky. I don't look good. But anyway, there you are. You knew she's a sex addict, but have some uh, holy rollers up there shaking their danglings at her would never happen on a normal Sunday because you close the strip clubs on Sundays and Sunday nights too. But put a stripper up there in front of her. She would have never, she'd never come if she knew that was going to happen. She's responsible. Okay? The way they have it, you know, they know, everybody knows. Every hoe knows that Sundays is for the Lord and everything's fucking closed, so that's when you detox that day. Uh, well, what happened? She went and had sex with a hundred different people that night. Because of that. As everybody knows, it's Saturday nights, globally, is when you do everything sexy at church. All the sexy stuff happens on Saturday night at the church. 